President Bola Tinubu on Wednesday established a 31-man Presidential Economic Coordination Council comprising himself, the Vice President, Senate President and the Chairman of the Nigerian Governors Forum, among others. The President also established a 19-member Economic Management Team Emergency Task Force, which he mandated to meet twice weekly and submit a six-month comprehensive plan of economic interventions for 2024. The Economic Management Team Emergency Task Force was approved by the Federal Executive Council on Monday. The President directed that the plan covering the next six months would be due for immediate implementation within two weeks of the EET's inauguration. The EET comprises ministers, four governors and some members of the Economic Management Team as well as the private sector. The EET is to report to the Presidential Economic Coordination Council headed by President Tinubu. The PECC comprises 13 ministers, the Central Bank of Nigeria Governor Yami Kadosu and the Chairman of the Nigeria Governors Forum, Governor Abdurrahman Abdurrazak of Kwara State, among others. The council also includes 13 persons drawn from the organized private sector, including Chairman of Dangote Group, Aliko Dangote, UBA Chairman, Mr. Tony Elumelu, Boa Founder, Abdul Samad Rabiu, among others. The members of the organized private sector would serve on the council on a one-year tenure. In a statement signed by the president's special advisor on media and publicity, Ajuri Ngelali, Tuesday's move is in furtherance of his administration's efforts at re-engineering the nation's economic governance framework. Meanwhile, Nigeria's public debt stock increased from 87.91 trillion naira, that's $114.35 billion in the third quarter of 2023 to 97.34 trillion naira in the fourth quarter of 2023. The National Bureau of Statistics said this on Tuesday in its Nigerian Domestic and Foreign Debt Report for qu fourth quarter 2023 release in Abuja. The report said Nigeria's public debt stock, which included external and domestic debt, grew by 10.73% on a quarter-on-quarter -quarter basis. It said that external debt stood at 38.22 trillion naira in Q4 2023, while domestic debt was 59.12 trillion naira. In a breakdown by states, the Bureau said that Lagos states recorded the highest domestic debt of 1.5 trillion naira in Q4 2023, followed by Delta with 373.41 billion naira. The report showed Jigawa recorded the lowest domestic debt at 42.76 billion naira, followed by Kebi at 60.69 billion. In addition, it stated that Lagos State recorded the highest external debt with $1.24 billion, followed by Kaduna State with $587.7 million. And now the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited NNPCL has denied claims that it has reduced the pump prices of petrol and diesel. The NNPCL spokesperson Olufemi Shune in a statement described the claims as false, asking Nigerians to disregard the same. Some posts on various social media platforms on Tuesday and Wednesday had said that the NNPCL had reduced the pump price of petrol below 600 naira, while that of diesel was a adjusted below 900 naira. Reacting, the firm said, and I quote, the NNPC Limited wishes to clarify rumors suggesting a price adjustment for premium motor spirit and automotive gas oil at its retail stations nationwide. The company asserts that these reports are false and urges Nigerians to disregard them entirely. And then Prisa Limited reaffirms its commitment to sustaining the current sufficiency in petroleum product supply across all its retail stations in the country. And of course, meanwhile, few marketers have expressed concern over the continued ban on the supply of petroleum products in border communities across the country. The national president of the Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria, Ipman Abubakar Maigandi, told reporters that the ban has affected the businesses of its members in the border areas. He noted that the government told the Ipman in 2019 that terrorists and bandits were getting few supplies through the filling stations along the national frontiers, aside from those diverting subsidized fuel to other countries which spurred the ban. 
Former President Muhammad Buhari's administration implemented a ban on the supply of petroleum products to bother communities in 2019. The directive issued through the Nigeria Customs Service prohibited filling stations within 20 kilometers of the borders from receiving or dispensing fuel and was aimed at curbing the illegal diversion of subsidized fuel to neighboring countries by smugglers. However, since the removal of the fuel subsidy by President Bola Tinubu in May 2023, Nigerians, including the National Assembly, have appealed that the ban be lifted by the current administration as yet to do so.